This video will demonstrate how to start up a pressure-reducing automatic control valve by setting the pilot pressure. This video is not intended to replace published installation instructions or the experience of a trained product installer. Please refer to the startup instructions for further information and product warnings. Consult local codes before beginning any work. Note, starting up the system will require bleeding air and draining water from the valve. Take proper precautions to protect your space from water damage. The pilot system may include pilot shutoffs, a Y strainer, an adjustable speed control, and an LFCP15 pressure reducing pilot valve. Start with the upstream and downstream isolation valves on your system closed. Begin by backing the adjusting screw on the LFCP15 pilot valve all the way out by loosening the lock nut and turning the adjusting pin just until it comes off the tension. Ensure the inlet and outlet shutoffs on the pilot system are open. If your valve includes a speed control, it's best practice to loosen the lock nut, set the valve to its fully closed position, and back it off approximately one and a half to two turns from fully closed. The speed control can be fine-tuned once the valve startup has been completed. Recap. Fully back out the LFCP15 adjusting screw just until it comes off the tension. Open all pilot system shutoffs. Set the speed control 1.5 to 2 turns from fully closed. Open the incoming water supply to the valve and allow the system to pressurize. To ensure proper operation, any trapped air will need to be bled off the valve cover. If your ACV includes a bleed valve, use a flathead screwdriver to slowly open the valve and allow air to bleed off the cover. Repeat the process until no air is trapped in the system. If your valve does not include a bleed cover, bleed air by loosening a fitting on the valve or a plug. Once air has been bled, re-tighten the fitting. To adjust the downstream pressure, Tighten the adjusting screw on the LFCP15 pilot valve. Slowly tighten the screw to increase the pressure. It's important to adjust the screw slowly, watching the downstream gauge as the pressure increases. Small adjustments can result in large pressure changes. Once the system is set to the desired pressure, tighten the locking nut. Open your downstream isolation valve and observe the system to ensure it's holding the set pressure. To learn more about troubleshooting your ACV, head to watts.com.